What's up, guys? It's Screwloose and Twinstick.com. Uh, I'm just playing around with Mud Runner a little bit here. This is the American Wilds expansion. Uh, one of the trucks, rather. This is the Western Star. Uh, I can never remember the name of it. 6900 XD. Uh, and it's turned out to be a pretty damn capable vehicle. I really like it. Um, does use a lot of fuel when you're uh, in all wheel drive with the diff lock on. But, uh, you know, it's really cool. Uh, I've been I've been playing around with it. This is the the valley map, and I just came from the fuel station to here. I want to get to this log kiosk and then drive it back up here. Basically, I just want to see how it compares, and I thought I'd throw it up here as gameplay. It's not really anything that special. Uh, well, you know, gives people an opportunity to see this who may not have seen the, the new vehicles in, in action yet. The Western Star is actually really cool. And actually... The new vehicles seem slightly more detailed than the the stock vehicles that came with the game, the base game vehicles. Which I think is pretty cool. It's nice, nice touch. Probably, well, I guess they're all real brands. They may not all be uh, named appropriately, but like I know that Kraz and all those uh, Russian vehicles, those are all real trucks. So, I guess I can't really argue that it probably is because they have something real to go by, but uh, the modelers, I mean. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting off subject here. The fact is, what I'm doing is testing how well this vehicle works in a, in a really muddy map. And this map is really deeply muddy and, and difficult to traverse, and so far it seems to be really good. Uh, even fuel consumption isn't as bad here as normal. I've seen this using 30 liters a minute in the configuration I'm using diff lock on and all-wheel drive. Let me get over here and load up some short logs. I did have to leave the log trailer behind. I just could not haul it. It, it won't. It doesn't want to drag it through the mud at all. Uh, it would make for a super, super long video. All I want to do is make this run back to a lumber mill. And that's all I'm going to do, and I'll probably uh, even speed that up a little bit, because it's a little boring to watch this at, at actual speed. Well, that's annoying how that how that targeting works now. That used to never be an issue that I remember. Uh, the mouse conflicting with the controller. Let's see if we can get out of here without tipping over. Awful wobbly here. Also, I would like to say that uh, if you're not noticing it, in the bottom right-hand corner, there's an Activate Windows watermark. And uh, I'm sorry for that. I know it's annoying. Uh, my, my new retail Windows key will not be here for at least another 10 days. Uh, it's really stupid. Uh, I don't know what's delaying it. Uh, when, I re when I built a new computer, I had an OEM Windows key, and those don't transfer to new, to new hardware. So... I decided to buy a retail one rather than another OEM key. And I opted out of the digital key because it was like an extra $30. It's fucking stupid. Um, anyway. For now, at least, I will have a, a watermark there. So I apologize for that.
Anyway, here we go. We are going to go... I'm going to just go down... I think what I want to do is come back up where I crossed the river and try to go left along this river's edge. Because you can't go through here now because of well, carrying lumber. What I'd like to do is try to either go all the way to this road, uh, to the lumber mill, or right up this middle this middle passageway and cut over this little spot uh, in the middle. I'm, I'm not making any sense. Hopefully you're following it on the screen. And uh, I will bring the fuel truck over and refuel. And uh, here we go. I'm just probably going to go ahead and speed up the footage from here on forward just to shorten things up some. If there's anything interesting that happens, I'll uh, go back to real time. I'm just going to bring the nacho down here, refuel this truck. Uh, I don't call it the nacho because look at the back of that and tell me it doesn't say the nacho. I know it's Cyrillic, but I don't read Cyrillic. So I call them, I call all my fuel trucks the nacho. It's supposed to be endearing. Don't judge me. Now oh, it's annoying. Okay, so that tops up the fuel, and we're off and running again. I'm going to try and see and follow this this line. I think I'm going to try to go up the middle here. I don't know about that crossing, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll get to use the winch a little bit. All right, here we go. I'm going to speed things back up again.
Alright, we made it over the coastline pretty well. That was cool. Uh, didn't really have too many hang-ups, really, except for when I got the... Uh, we got some logs caught on the differential there, some of the debris on the ground. Stopped us dead a couple times, but here we go. We're going to try this crossing. I'm going to do this in real time. I don't know how deep this is. I don't know, I'm not sure I've ever tried this route on this map before, to be honest with you. We're going to see what happens. Aim for that down branch across the road in case this is real deep. Oh, it's not bad at all. Great. Well, in that case, I'm speeding it back up. take all-wheel drive off to save a little bit of fuel. That's something that seems to have changed uh, physics-wise for the trucks, or, or not necessarily physics-wise, but uh, fuel-wise. It seems to be more efficient now to not run all-wheel drive and just use the diff lock whenever possible. It kind of was the opposite before, if I remember right. Uh, okay, so right up here, let's just go between these trees. This looks like the obvious place. In this little clearing here. Yeah, there's the road. More, de more debris hung up on the differential back there. That'll stop you dead, and if you hit it really fast, uh, it'll do a lot of damage, obviously, to the vehicle. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can make this all in one motion. You see how much more fuel just all-wheel drive uses? 10-15 liters at a time, rather than the differential using 4-6. 10 on the high side. I may have mentioned it earlier, but I've, with both of those on, I've seen this truck using like close to 30 or maybe even more, depending on how hard the situation is. Which is like real life, you can't drive with the differential locked for a while or for a long amount of time on a hard surface. Break the gears. Let's just try with it off. Everything off. Just crawl. Seems to be handling that okay. Most of the time when you do that, this truck doesn't handle very well. It does it wants to send all the power to one side and it just spins the wheels. Seems to be doing okay though right now.
All right, there's the lights from the lumber mill shining. Let's get it all in there. Did a pretty good job, actually, I think. I'm pretty impressed with it, actually, on this map. I said it was really hard with the trailer. I had a really hard time getting through all this real thick stuff up here, trying to get it out uh, of the garage. But just in terms of carrying short logs, I might have to make another trip or two, but I did all right. All right, there we go. That's the first load on this on this map, and that's the Western Star uh, from the American Wilds expansion for you. It's a pretty good truck. I like it a lot, and I am, now that I'm understanding how to save fuel on it, I might use it more often. Really cool. All right, guys. Uh, sorry if this video wasn't much. I know it wasn't, but uh, I haven't put anything up in a while, and I wanted to get a little something up here. Uh. Hopefully there will be more things coming. Uh, now that my new system is uh, much more capable, I should be recording extra videos and, you know, uh, maybe we'll have some extra stuff coming. I've been playing a little uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and and that kind of thing, so we'll see what happens. Maybe some more Mother Gunship. Maybe something new. Who knows? All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm Inscrews from TwinStick.com. As always, have a great one.